Hello everyone and welcome back to Humans in 5. It's just you and me today, so I thought I could give you an update on where I am at in my career and just what it means to be working in the job that I have now. I graduated with my PhD in May 2019 from the University of Cambridge and was very lucky to land a teaching contract at the University of Victoria in Canada. This was doubly lucky as my husband Kyle and I were looking to move back to Canada from the UK so that Kyle could continue his studies. Now I use the word lucky for a very good reason. Getting a job as a university professor is, like lots of jobs today, not very straightforward. One of the unique elements of this position is what's known as tenure. To be tenured as a university academic means that at a certain point in your career, you're considered to be permanently hired. With this comes better benefits and the opportunity to increase your salary over time. It also provides you a secure place to develop your research ideas and hopefully develop collaborations. But jobs leading to tenure, which are known as tenure track jobs, are dwindling in number. In 1969 in the USA, approximately 80% of faculty members were either tenured or on their way to being tenured. Today, about 75% of faculty members in the USA are non-tenured. Alongside that, there's been almost a double increase in the number of people who are getting PhD degrees in fields like anthropology between the 1980s and today which means more competition for those very few tenured jobs. University professors are not just researchers, of course. They're also teachers. And that teaching job still needs to get done. With an increased number of people with PhDs, universities realise that instead of investing in qualified people for tenure contracts, they could have PhD holders provide the service that the university needs, which is teaching, without having to roll out the benefits and the salaries needed for tenure track positions. Now, I'm one of the qualified people who signed one of those short-term contracts, making me a new member of a club of academics known as sessionals or as adjuncts. Sessional or adjunct lecturers are employed only for a specific university session, such as one term during the year or for multiple courses in one term. We're paid for the course we teach, and that's all. We get few, if any, benefits, potentially not even an office to work in, possibly no union representation, and no certainty at all as to where our next job will be. Now, don't get me wrong, a job is a job. I'm also working in the field that I trained in, which is already something these days. And I'm also very lucky to work in a department that, from my limited experience, has given me more support than others might. However, I would be lying if I said it isn't really tough balancing the amount of work that I put into teaching compared to what I'm gaining from this experience. We've talked before on Humans in Five about how academic promotions don't actually run on teaching, but on research output, usually in the form of academic publications. Sessional and adjunct positions make it tough, if not impossible, to get enough time and resources to work on writing publications. Which means that for some of us, we're stuck in a loop of creating great teaching content with no help, not knowing how long we'll be paid for the work we do. The coronavirus pandemic has worked to show some of the major issues with this job insecurity, particularly through the demands made of sessionals to move all their teaching online. For example, I don't get paid outside of the dates a course runs. So, in preparing to teach three courses online come September, I've been working unpaid for the last month and a half, alongside trying to work out immigration paperwork at a time where administration for travel is not really stellar. None of this is to say that it's a breeze being on the tenure track. Michelle will tell you that it's no cakewalk. The sessional experience will also look different in other countries, and it'll look different for other people too. I'm lucky to have work in these strange times, and work that's rewarding in lots of ways. However, being a sessional lecturer also means having all of the challenges of an academic job, but without a workplace that, quite frankly, recognises your worth as an academic. 
So let's hear it for all those sessionals and adjuncts out there. Hopefully today's episode has given you an insight into this world, and I'll see you next time on Humans in 5. Don't forget to subscribe!